morning, folks. Um, it's been a while. I'll try to get you caught up. But uh, had a bad day yesterday. Things weren't going right. Dropping shit, throwing tools. Pieces not fitting. It's all my own fault, but I'll learn eventually. So today I got to clean up this area. Uh, I'm going to put my saw horses back up, make a couple of new parts. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, put her around here and try and get some stuff organized out of the way so I can actually work. So, and uh, breaking in a new set of car hearts. Man, these things are stiff. Probably wear like iron, though. So I'm just going to go to it. So a wise man once said, only the greatest minds have the messiest desks. I present my proof. Don't know what my IQ is, but it's got to be up there somewhere, way up there. So I got the main cabin cleared out so I can work. Now I got to sort of put some order into this place. So that's what I'm going to do. So a little explanation of what's going on here. Um, when I messed with the designer's <coughs> original design, it meant that I was going to be in for quite a bit of uh, custom fitting and fabricating of extra frames. And that's what I'm working on right here. Um, I thought I had duplicated the forward frame, frame that's forward of this one, but it came up way too short. I tried to extend it. And this is the result of my mess, bits and pieces everywhere. So I've gone ahead and uh, made one new one, which I put in place. And as you can see, it came up short as well, but uh, it's not a big deal. This wall will be reinforced with white oak anyway, so it's not, uh, it's not the be all and end all. So now I've got to do one more for the port side and uh, then what I want to do is glue and tab all of these frames in place along with their corresponding white oak reinforcements, which will run down the outside. And that should allow me to keep this superstructure up over the winter. I plan to tarp the whole boat and uh, I should be able to get at least another month maybe two are working inside the boat because right now all the deck panels and everything are dry fit. They've all got to come up. There's painting and insulation to go in. Uh, there's one water tank has to be fastened down. There's plumbing, electrical, hydraulics, 
all have to go in. The hot water heater has to come in and be fitted. So all that is below the deck plates. So I'll try and get this done. I'm going to cut one more. I'll show you that process. It's not sanding, so it's pretty good stuff. So here we go. A wise man once said that uh, all good things must come to an end. And uh, I'm going to shut this year's uh, video production down um, today. Uh, the video will go up this evening. Um, I didn't get as much done as I would have liked, but I did get a lot of work done. Um, it comes a bit from feeling better, uh, get my blood sugar under control, all that kind of stuff. A little hospital scare you know kind of set us on the right path um, we've done our research we've got a plan um, I'm 40 pounds lighter than I was at my heaviest and Lori's also lost 40 pounds so I think we're on the right track uh, as long as we don't eat too many more turkey dinners um, other than that I'd like to thank everybody for hanging in and sticking with us and uh, following along on this uh, odyssey <laughs> um, a lot more work to come um, you've seen my other project i've got to do in the spring the 13 foot boston whaler uh, that's more fun than anything else although there's a lot more sanding in my future there um, yeah so again thank you to everybody that uh, commented and followed along and shared out our videos we certainly appreciate it um, I know you're a dedicated group. There's about 460 followers on YouTube, which, uh, I mean, to me is amazing, but I think there's a lot of sick people out there that just lot, love watching me sand and grind fiberglass, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. So, um, I'm going to leave it there and we'll see you again in the spring of 2022. Cheers.